Good afternoon, students. Uh, this is teacher Roberto. And today, in, in this lesson, I'm going to be reviewing the pronunciation of the ED, which is um, related to the simple past of regular verbs. Why is it important to learn this pronunciation? Because when we want to talk uh, about or past experiences um, in a job interview, the tense that we use is the simple past. Three general rules that you have to learn to pronounce the ED ending correctly. For the verbs ending in a voiceless consonant, these are the voiceless consonant P or P, F, K, S, SH, CH, H, S, or K, X. With these ones, the pronunciation of the, the E, D is T. For the verbs ending in a voiced sound or voiced consonant b z o m n r v z or a vowel the pronunciation is d for the verbs ending in the t or t sound the pronunciation of the e d is pronounced it here i'm going to give you examples of uh, of the application of the of rule number one voiceless sounds or these consonants over here the ed is pronounced helped helped number two is kissed number three is laughed the G and the H is pronounced here like an F. Laughed. This one is pronounced washed. This one is finished. This one is the C is here. The C is here. Then the ED is pronounced like a T. Danced. Looked. Watched. Now for rule number two, when you see these consonants or other consonants that are not these ones in rule number one, the pronunciation of the E, D is D. Number one is rubbed. Number two, begged. Number three, called. Number four, claimed number five cleaned next one offered next loved and the last one realized as you can see the diff there's a significant difference between this one rule number two and this one rule number one I think this is the easiest one. Why? Because if you see a verb ending in T or in D, the pronunciation of this ED is it. Here we have a verb that finishes with the consonant T. The pronunciation is wanted. Educated. And dead. Knee dead. Here, if you click on the word wanted, you'll be able to have a reference on the pronunciation that I'm just um, producing. Now, again, here educated, educated, and here needed, needed, here ended, ended. Now we come back here cleaned, cleaned. 
Now here. Finished. Finished. Right? Here we have a practice. Right? We have a practice. Here we have a bunch of verbs. And we have to put them in the correct column. Column number one is for t. Column number two is for t. And column number three is for it. I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to drag and drop the verb talk, right? But first we need to see the verb. This verb, um, the consonant that is before the ed is k. If we go to rule number one, here k is in rule number one. Therefore, the pronunciation of this verb is, or the ending, the ed ending is t. So we say talked. Now I'm going to drop, drag, and drop the verb on column number one. So the same you have to do with the rest of the verbs, right? You just have to drag and drop the verbs in the column they or you think they belong to according to the rule that you have learned. All right, this is basically it. This is basically uh, what I have prepared for this um, grammar section. Um, I think I'm going to be covering a little bit about this uh, in our live session in Zoom. So make sure that you review the video. Um, and if you have any question about this, please let me know. And I'll be more than happy to clarify any question that you may have. Thank you so much for for being here today and I'm looking forward to seeing you in our uh, Zoom meeting tomorrow.